Test one, two, three. Ooh, good. This, this thing sounds crazy. Hi, my name is Dragon Vanlova. Today is my last video. Today's the same, but it's a little bit different because this is my last video being 15 years old. So today I want to be really raw with you and tell you what happened from 2022 to 2023 as a young entrepreneur and business owner. Let's get to it. Starting in January 2022, I wanted to continue my YouTube journey, Dragon V Films Tech, to help people with smart home technology and cameras. At that time, Sony A7S lineup was trending. It was trending real hard. The book I read was by Daryl Eves called YouTube Formula. And hoping of finding information that could help me, I also faced a struggle. I knew that if I can't maintain the camera I own due to no income, I'm unable to keep thriving on my YouTube journey. So just like what every high schooler does, I applied to well-known food chains such as Chick-fil-A, Fraising Canes, and Panda Express. They joyfully accepted me to an extent. And that extent was the point where none of them accepted me. Well, I did get an interview by Chick-fil-A. Open interviews. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. I'm using that light, that camera, that thing over there too. We're gonna, we're going to see how well I can do it today so I can get it during summer or something like that. So, yeah, that's cool. And I got some examples right here. We got Eat More Chicken, my three models that kind of failed, um, my two books, and all the other stuff. So, yeah. But they didn't want me. Personally, I felt a little off, but I did not care. So I proceeded to brainstorm what else I could do to earn more income or to start income because I had zero dollars, zero. The following four months, I continued studying YouTube, helped my school with broadcasting and documented the history of changes happening to the Crest Inverted Park. The following month, I was given the opportunity to film my district spelling bee. This was also the month where I turned from 14 to 15 years old where I explored Borrego Springs. Borrego Springs was a sweet spot for photos and videos. On February 7, 2022, I got a present. It wasn't the present of any other 15 year old would want. It was a DJI RSC2 stabilizer. I, I wanted the stabilizer because many people complained that my footage was shaky. <laughs> uh, I, I knew I wanted to do more with photo and video since I have a camera. I took the time to learn a stabilizer and visited Lake Arrowhead for the first time. After this trip, I learned that Lake Arrowhead is actually a tourist location during the summer. The next month was March. I saw Vale HQ a lot on Instagram, so I decided that we should visit Vale HQ. It was very cool. It was very relaxing. We went to Barnes & Nobles. However, I noticed that Texas Roadhouse's founder, Ken Taylor, made a book on how Texas Roadhouse became a new top restaurant in America. At that time, I had never tried Texas Roadhouse. I've never tried it before. Business-wise, nothing much happened, but I was excited to head up to the mountain for a church retreat. Just working till midnight. <laughs> Just working on a little skit right now. Walking. Well, I'm a chaperone. So check this. After that church retreat, April was tough. It was tough for me to decide whether or not to start my own business. I was watching YouTube videos on how owning a business can be like, how to get better at photo editing. Again, this month I had no income. But this month was the first time I met Raphael informally, informally, on Good Friday. It was the same day I discovered the quote, you get paid for bringing value to the marketplace. If you don't bring value, you don't make much money, by Peter Vogt. At this time, I didn't know how to create an invoice. I, I you, you, you know what, you know what's going on. So I made the rookie mistake as a 15 year old and charged them however much the other states are doing it for, right? Like, come on, why, why not charge a Beaumont real estate agent for my first time, like $1,000, $2,000? Okay. I denied their pricing offer since they tried to take advantage of me for dirt cheap work on something that takes a really, really long time. At the end of the month, I took the opportunity to film for Nick Knack, one of my school's local DJs. It was the most raddest video I've ever made during my early stages of creating photo and video and turn it into a business. There was no sun, no, 
May was the major part of my business. I backed out to local real estate firms, gave them my business card hoping for real estate work during the summer. You'd think they would let me in, right? So I just got back home. This is the first day of just biking to all of the um, areas. So um, yeah, so you gotta do what you gotta do for photo, video clients, things like that, because that's the only way to really do it. So if you really wanna do it, Show people that you want to do it and give them your business card too. So I was able to bike to at least three, four. I got almost all of my business cards out. I only have one left. Uh, with those business cards, they're going to put them in the realtor room, things like that. I'm hoping that they would call back and I'm available for those times. So, yeah. I really hope I can do it. Like, wow, that 15-year-old, he's biking, he's offering business. How cute. Yeah, um, no, that did not happen at all. It did not happen. It did not work. They probably thought I was a weirdo with a bike, but it was well worth it, right? It was, it was well worth the rookie mistake, but I was also worried about tax on May 8th. Without realizing it, I didn't realize that tax season was already over, but I continued to watch a video about tax anyways and learned that there's a startup deduction up to 5,000. On May 10, I finally got my City of Corona business license. And shortly after receiving the email, I called Robert at the Corona Chamber not knowing what I was doing. So Robert, you watching this, you helped quite a lot at this point. I had no idea what I was doing. Robert helped me with resources as I mentioned to him that I'm only 15 years old with no income nor money and I was just owning a YouTube channel. From May 11 to May 30, I practiced taking photos and videos with a full-time filmmaker member, MT Jones Pro, who is local to Corona, California. We went on, on a photo shoot at Victoria Beach, took a few maternity photos. I did take more practice real estate photos, but the majority of the photos are super, super bad. Here, see if you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no. but hey, you, you, you have to start somewhere at least, right? Throughout the month of June, there were lots of ups and downs. My freshman year ended, I worked on my church's festival with Raphael. But this time, I'm actually working with Raphael for the first time, so I had no expectations on how he is able to work. Look at that, we got, hey. some, we got some cotton candy. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Ministry giving out mission uh, tomatoes. We I'm, I'm really sleeping right now, but I, I had them. It's all good. This is the best Saturday in Sunday. These church events, I, I like the most. It's, it's awesome because everybody else I've worked with, they would not cooperate with me. So, this was the first time, and it, it was successful. We were able to create a video for our most recent client at that time named Cook Among the Jumpers. On June 29, Jim invited me to Cars and Coffee for the first time where I took car photos. New to the car genre, I was super nervous, ready, but I was excited. On the 30th, I invited Raphael to Stephanie's farewell at Skyland Ale Works. And, oh boy, I, I really loved seeing Raphael's reaction. He was super, super nervous. Hey there, it's Reagan B. Films, our company. I'm Reagan, I'm, oh, this is, that's Raphael. We're here at the current team of Commerce. We're filming the stuff and we got some great snakes. I approve. We're out on work. It was his first time at this Corona Chamber meeting for the farewell for Stephanie. So, Stephanie watching this, I hope you're doing well in Tennessee. You are doing awesome. We're here at Skyland. I'm Reagan. That's Raphael. This is hey! This is, this is part of his history. What do you think about it? Because this is your first Corona Chamber event. I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> I, I still am. Okay. So, the, the, the uh, thing I don't know people. <laughs> Oh, how is like this all the bag food? not broken yet? It's exactly. We got some snacks right here. Bro, these all tacos, up. bro, I'm telling you. Eduardo's hooked up the Corona Chamber today. He's awesome. Well, yeah. He's awesome. And a Maria, too, that set it all up. Yeah. Let's move over to July. On the topic of being nervous, it was the first time we achieved the opportunity to film the City of Corona's 4th of July parade. We're alongside a chill. So we want to thank our generous sponsors. Rhythm, sound, and tech, and live well, rest 
Restoration. Abby, it's the flyover! Woo! Look up, here it is! Again, so I met a chill at the city of Cronos, like, Cresta Verde thing going on. So, this is the 4th of July parade, and I met a chill for the second time. Then, Raphael was also present too, so I didn't know what to expect because he only had a GoPro. We aren't enough to the point where we can get Raphael a new safer bike after his broke on our travel to install new graphics. This month- Hey there, so uh, this is Raphael, I'm Regan. So we want to show you uh, what these donations do. So currently, this is, this is a, these are our bikes right here. Yeah, and they both broke. Yeah, they both broke. At the exact same time. At the exact same time. We were here to program wait, wait, some of our like, graphics. Okay. Okay, my bike and all and of a like, sudden, okay, why the heck is my tire and all of a sudden, our tires just went really flat. Oh my goodness, I'm crying. <laughs> right there. And the colors go perfect too. Yeah. yeah. Should I make a yearbook for us? Yeah. No, I already have like a few pictures too, yeah. so I can put yeah. them there. Yeah. yeah. This month was also the month where we wished to get our first wedding at our church, thinking we have no more clients for the rest of the month, but we got our first wedding at our church, and the results were awesome. Even Raphael's mom was surprised. We operated with walkie-talkies to make sure Raphael can get the best photo he can as a first-time rookie. And I am glad to be there with you, Raphael. August was a smooth sailing month, but my sophomore year started. We went on, Raphael and I, a five-mile bike ride. We filmed the worship band, Spiro Worship. But most of all, we thank Yachty by Nature and Tuttle Ventures for the opportunity to film in Lake Elsinore. I'm out here in Lake Forest. We're just filming for Yachty by Nature. Yeah. Nor an opportunity to take for Tuttle's business page on Google. The last coffee with an entrepreneur I attended at the Corona Chamber was with a speaker named Marina. Or Marina. I'm not sure if I'm saying it right from M Health and Beauty. I've learned a lot about her business journey from the core values to the positives and negatives. It was way different than finding a YouTube video because if you have a question, you can ask her right there. Remember, Reagan V Films didn't have a Corona Chamber membership at the time, but we did support people who are in the Corona Chamber. Unfortunately, the days did heat up to the point where the power grid was not able to stay in itself in September. However, Raphael and I were able to film a mariachi band concert and make sure to practice our skills. The following month, I was able to pass my DMV permit test for the first time. What happened today at the DMV was, um, uh, while I was taking my test, the person right next to me, they were shouting out loud, what's your, add in your name when you don't need to add in your name, you just need a single fingerprint and all of your info is already in the DMV database. Ah, yes. I knew uh, at that first time that I passed my DMV test, I messaged Jim, I let people know, cars and coffee. Oh yeah, it was the best time of my life. And, and unexpectedly, Jim and I were at the Walk for Life event at Levy Pollard High School on October 1st. In November, I learned through my training, thanks to Dr. Sabra from my acting class at Hollywood Access Inc. about the chasm that sits between December 2022 and January 2023 and how to get to the other side. And also thank you to Miss Gem too. You two are awesome. On November 26th, I was able to take a few photos for our clients whose baby turned one years old. On November 29th, Regan V Films obtained our first advertising banner for events and festivals. I'm Regan, I'm part of the media ministry stream team. That's my mom, that's George, the fourth person is here, and there's Linda. And this is our first banner on our first year. This is 2022, November 29th. This is to mark this if it gets like retired and we want everybody at the church to sign it or whoever did the project. Yeah. <laughs> we designed a few albums upon special requests for a few family members. Keep in mind we do offer this service but it does take time, but it's well worth the wait. At the end of 2022, I was two months short of turning 16. From the Corona Rotary's 100th anniversary, our client's toddler's birthday who we were gladly to know the family, then it finally happened. On December 10, Oregon View Films finally joined the Corona Chamber of Commerce, several days before taking magazine photos for Do It American, as well as the Corona Police Department's toy drive, OC Winterfest, and the Chamber's holiday mixer at Di Boca Madre. At the beginning of last month, I attended the Rose Parade and became the lead of the Citrus Heritage Run 5K on bike, with a full decked out bike. On January 19, at Good Morning Corona, several members and I received our plaque. 
Then on January 22nd, I filmed the grand opening for not knowing that I was doing not only one, but two, featuring Spin 22 and the Grotto Custom Menswear. On January 27th, I helped my school broadcast a freshman lottery to Facebook. And as we know it, I hate traffic, and traffic on Saturday to the 28th was as terrible as your Netflix show not loading up. So I went out and put a little traffic sign, hoping, hoping that traffic will ease up. This is my year of being 15 years old. It's been a great year, but I hope you learned something out of this. To all the new young business owners, don't give up. Don't you dare give up. You will not feel noticed, but you will get noticed later. Keep track of your progress. You won't see it now, but you will see you made major progress. And much well. Stay kind. These are the scriptures that I've got from Dr. Sabra Morena from um, Hollywood Access Inc. and M. Uh, I forgot your name, Morena, but M. Health and Beauty. These are the quotes. Thank you for all the support. Being 15 years old, you know. Time to go on to the next chapter. 16. And I know you might be viewing this from this. Oh, what's this format on the paper? I took the time to take notes of what days these things happened. And then I made a whole paragraph summarizing it. I proofread it. And I am now putting it in a little podcast. And I hope you guys, you guys liked it. Now it's 9.27. Back to editing. Thank you. Mahalo. Salamat. Gracias. Nar. Nar is the short term for nar. Nar. See ya. Good night. Good morning. Etc. Have a good night.